Good afternoon. We're going to start the Stanley White Recreation Center Advisory Committee meeting for April. At this time, um, I would like to ask Mr. William Moore to come up and give prayer, if he doesn't mind. Let us pray. Eternally grateful Father, we thank you and we praise you for your goodness and for your mercy. We thank you for your love and kindness. We thank you for this day, for the activities of this day that led us to this place to discuss the biddings that you have set before the city of Newburn Parks and Recreation and this advisory board. Father, we thank you for wisdom that we may develop strategies for victory in everything that's said and done. We thank you and we praise you as we go forth, Lord God, in the biddings and the groundbreaking of the programming and all, God. We know that you'll be uh, at the end of the day, it'll be for our good, but it'll be for your glory. And we thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 At this time, we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Ginger, will you please do a roll call? All right. Mr. Leander Morgan. Talena Massey. James Woods. Present. Curtis Stewart. Bernard White. Here. Reginald Pinder. Here. Elijah Brown. Here. Robert Lee. Alderman. Hazel Royal. Okay. Um, I think we sent out the minutes from the March 21st meeting. Has everybody had an opportunity to review them? If not, you received a copy. Um, should be right there in front of you if you need to look through them. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes? I move that the minutes be approved as written with any corrections if there be any. Second. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. So we're going to talk about bidding status. Um, the bids went out on, I believe it was March 29th. Um, there were several contractors that showed up for the bid opening meeting, had an on-site visit um, where they all went out and looked and asked questions. Um, I believe we're scheduled today was we'll sent out an addendum to the bid opening for any questions that have been received. Um, if you would like to see that addendum, you can go on the city website under uh, business and go to the current bids and it'll show what the addendum questions were. Um, and the bids are scheduled to be received by 3 p.m. next Tuesday, April 25th. And the bids will be open and read aloud starting at 3.05 p.m. It will occur right here in the courtroom. It is open to the public if anyone would like to be present to hear the bids. If y'all need a reminder, we can send out an email about that time and date, about when the bids are opening. Okay, three o'clock. Mm -hmm. They're due by three. They'll be opened and read at 3.05 p.m. Does anybody have any questions regarding the bids? Question, uh, I was just wondering, uh, 
did you see any um, minority participation than any of the bids? Um, I can't remember that day. I Trying to think back. Do not, I believe there was one person there, maybe minority, okay. um, but it was sent out to all minority groups and the historically underserved businesses. It was sent out in, to all those avenues. Okay, thank you. All right. Once you open the bid, what's the time frame in this? Uh, um, of course, they'll have to be reviewed. There's several different um, individuals within the city that will review them, make recommendations, um, and then as far as the time frame, I'm not for certain. We're hoping within, you know, a few weeks that we can get it awarded and get everything ready for groundbreaking. And these are closed bids that you're receiving from the contractors? Yeah, when they, when they deliver on that day, they are required to be closed and they will not be opened until 3.05 and they'll be all be opened at the same time. Gotcha. And it will be public. So at that time, we'll provide more information on the warden process. All right, any other questions regarding that? All right, if not, we're going to move on and talk about public input, what we discussed last time. Uh, Ginger and I have, we did a couple questions regarding a survey. Um, just wanted you guys to look at them, see what your thoughts are, if we need to simplify it more, uh, add to it, um, change some of the questions. Um, this is just kind of what we're looking at to go through. We don't want to have more than five questions in this survey. We want to keep it kind of short to encourage people to participate in it. Um, and also something that we can do quickly, like if we're at an event, like say we want to set up a table at Juneteenth or Duff Fest and try to get people to participate in this survey, something they can do quickly, or that even we could do it with an iPad on site. Um, so the first question we have on here, we have several different um, program elements for them to choose from, but we have on a scale of one, which is not preferred, to a scale of five, which is very preferred, rate each program option based on your household's preference, preferences. So we have youth sports as the first one. We have one as not preferred, two somewhat not preferred, three neutral, four somewhat preferred, and then five very preferred. So they would check each one and as we go down we have exercise classes health wellness classes for example nutrition weight loss groups support groups etc we have arts culinary musical classes educational classes for youth or adults and then ch child care programs after school summer camps spring break camps and things such as that so um what do y'all think about that first one I think that's, I mean, it's basic. It, it asks them to, it covers a wide range of things, so I think it's, you know, fine. Okay. Is there anything else you think we should add on there? We got youth sports. We didn't talk about any adult sports. Um, we do in question three. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, so on question two, this is just kind of like a short um, where they can do a write-in or whatever the case may be, type in. Um, what kind of recreation services would you like to see offered to the community that are currently not offered by the City of Newburn Parks and Recreation? So they could write in here whether it would be um, they want to participate in a pottery class or they want to see more um, programs for youth, um, you know, whatever they're wanting to see that we're currently not offering. They could write that in there. Yeah, have a class the we, they do the ceramics class over there. Yeah. 
Miss Nita. Mm -hmm. um, so they could, you know, write in anything there that we may be able to provide. Um, even, you know, it can be specific like um, health and wellness, like if they want to see something to help with education on diabetes or, you know, whatever. And then question three um, is which of the recreation programs below do you feel are most needed in New Bern? So they would only be allowed to select one of what's currently on that list. And we have youth educational programs, programs for older adults, cultural arts, wellness classes and or support groups, team programming, youth sports, adult sports, therapeutic recreation programs or programs for those with disabilities or outdoor nature programming. Well, it would be, it would basically show us which one people are most interested in. Like say, if we allow people to pick more multiple on here, it may not, it'll skew our data and maybe not necessarily identify the one that they want to see the most. Can y'all think of any other questions? I, I really think having up to five questions is a good idea. Um, this is kind of just where we started at. I think what's here, it, it, you, we would get a good survey of what would be, um, the people would see what they would like to see at Stanley White. Um, it's simple. It's not, you know, it, it's not a whole lot there. So I, I think you got to meet right there. What, what the three questions that you have here really will put something down for you guys to look at or us yeah. to look at and see. It covers a lot of area, even right. though it's just three questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I know everybody with surveys, nobody likes a super long survey. And I, I feel like the simpler and quicker we can make it, the more response we would get. A couple of things that they have, I agree with a lot of what you have up here, but Stanley White always had a outstanding youth program at a certain period of time, kind of probably can agree to that, they had an exercising program over there. Mm -hmm. And those exercising programs that they had over there to deal with mostly older people, but they would were, they were pack a room doing that. And it's within walking distance for some of them. And then the educational part about the kids, that was uh, something that was pushed back there when we used to have, have the kids playing sports and that they would have to come and do their, come in there and do the homework and, and, and do the little studying before they could get the field at least one higher. Okay. So that, that, that pays off. That paid off for me greatly when uh, I was over age J before any of the football players hit that field, the principal, he set a room up for us and they could go in there and do their homework. And after they finish their homework, then we had them all on the field. And when it come to grade time, we may have had one person to not make the list when everybody's had 13, 14 people to drop off. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so he told me that was fun. But that's yeah. what we know to do. Do you think having something like uh, making one of the options like, you know, homework assistance and tutoring programs for you. Do you think that would be a good option to add to it? Anything educational to help build a strong will be. Maybe you can just expand on that one oh and add like, you know, tutoring or... So would, wouldn't that fall under... I'm sorry, go ahead, Ross. Yeah, my question is, is that, that is true. Uh, Stanley White did have something like that for the children, but through the years, it ended up charging the children. And my, my thing is, and I keep saying in different meetings is, 
We are taxpayers. We pay taxes. And it all, it seems like it's double dipping. The taxpayers is overtaxed because the kids got to pay for certain things that live in the city. Okay. So and, and I don't want, I don't want it to get to that again that where it builds up to our school program and, and, and the student, the park and rec, then after a while it becomes a, a money making thing and then it eliminates a lot of kids that really need to be in there that don't have the means. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if we could do it that way, I'm, I'm, I'm with it 100%. Well, maybe we could add in here a question about what would prevent you from participating in programs at Stanley White Recreation Center, and maybe it would be um, financial responsibility or transportation, or those could be some of the options that people could choose, and that way we would see if they're not participating, what's their reason why. And would this be the last survey? Because I know they've done stickers on the board with some of the same things that, that we're asking on the survey. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to just wear them out with surveys. And, well, know. it's been a while, and this one's going to be more geared to specifically the programming inside the center. Mm -hmm. um, when they did that survey before, it was to see the type of facilities that we would need to provide. Of course, we can still use some of that information, but also, you know, it's been what, two going on three years since that survey was done, and some of the uh, survey participants may have changed. We may have new people or people who didn't get to take it before, and so it'll just give us more information to go off of. But, you know, once we do this and if we get a good response, you know, we should be able to build programs off of the responses we receive. But it doesn't hurt from now and then to do surveys and to get input to make sure you're meeting the needs of the community, even after we've had programs in place for a while. Right, right. And I understand what you're saying, but, again, <clears throat> certain people, they, they feel like they're wasting their time. And so when we, when we put it out there, we got to put it out there in a way that it catches their attention and let them know that we're for real about it. Well, I, kind of what I was thinking, and I don't know if you guys would be interested in this, but like for Duff Fest coming up, if we can have a table and like have a couple of people, either myself, Ginger, a few people from the board there to um, – you know, be there to try and get some participation in this survey. You know, I think that would be a good opportunity because it's an event going on right there in the community and there would be a lot of traffic. And also the next month for Juneteenth, having the same thing, you know, where we can gather, I mean, a few hours and we could gather quite a bit of information and we can have we have an iPad we can have out there if they want to do it electronically, or we can have some paper ones out there if they prefer to do paper. And that would help us get a lot of information, I think. Just do both. Let's do both and, and maybe have four four staff, uh, two at the table and two just me. Walking, yeah, walking, walking around. around. Dove Fest is May 13th on a Saturday. And then Juneteenth will be on a Saturday also. I just don't know what that date. June 19th, you're sitting on 17th or something. I believe it's the 17th. Yeah, it's the third Saturday. Yep. It'll, well, yeah, it'll be June 17th. Um, so what we can do is maybe send out a... Um, a poll or some type of survey to the board members to see who would be interested in volunteering for like certain periods of time during those events to come out and help gather some of that information and that way you can sign up and we'll just send out a schedule of who's doing what time frame if y'all want to do that well i'm already committed to work for um juneteenth okay that's fine maybe yeah. you can do the fest yeah i'm already i'll, I'll be there at juneteenth but we have to we're working alongside um, the police department. Mm -hmm. And you can always be like, hey, you guys go over here and take the survey, you know. Okay. 
Um, but, and even if there's some volunteers that aren't necessarily on the board that want to help that day, more than welcome to, you know, help us work on that. Right. Can we have surveys prepared for this um, resiliency meeting, which is not until next, it's, it's a week from tomorrow, so it's the 26th. I'll have to check on that. I don't know if they would want us to do additional surveys there to what they're already doing. Uh -huh. So let me check with the group that's doing that and see okay. how they feel about that. Because right. I know they're going to be actually requesting some input that day specifically for Henderson Park. So, or the Hendrick Duffy Field area and the uh, stormwater drainage. I'd like to ask a question. Yes, sir. The question is about the after school program. Mm hmm. Will this afternoon program interfere with the other program that we already have set up that you may be doing from uh, Omega Center? No, once the um, Stanley White Recreation Center opens up, those programs would transfer back to the Stanley White Recreation Center where they were held previously. Right. So it would basically be the same program, just continuing. Or we could expand on it or grow it, you know. Whatever the need and the survey data says. All right, so we'll be sending out an email with time frames and information on being at Dove Fest and or Juneteenth, and you guys can let us know, and we'll provide everything. You just show up and help us engage the community. Boy. Well, just think this time you're there as a volunteer, and you can spit out of when you're ready. <laughs> I'm good. Well, you might want to come help us all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I probably will volunteer for some time out there. But it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a good thing. It had nothing a lot of work. All right. So that's all I had on my agenda for tonight. Is there anything you guys would like to share? Um, last week we talked about um, looking into the sign. Yes, I actually believe Foster has done that, and I believe that's already been ordered. So we will be putting a sign? I think so. I don't want to say for certain, but I'm pretty sure I heard that conversation, that we would be moving forward with a sign. Okay, and I see the guys, they're working on the house. I mean, if you want to call it working on the house, they working on moving the house. So. Yeah. Well, I don't have anything to add for that other than what we've seen going on as far as I don't have move date or anything like uh, that. Is this where the house can sit right beside the old Willow Martin Will, uh, what, what is it, Human Resources? Building? Yes, sir, on Rim <laughs> Avenue. Oh, so that's where it, that's um, where they look. Uh, stumps, uh, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, trees and stuff. That's to be kind of tight in there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's out of my purview. I agree with you, Reg. I looked at it the other day. And I'm like, man, I understand getting the house moved. I, I, but I'm with you. That's kind of tight. But when you say that's out of our purview, we didn't. The <laughs> question, um, did the land, the land that the, the gentleman is going to put the house on, did the city own that property or he owned it before, prior? The city owned that. I believe it I don't want to misspeak, but I believe it was part of the house moving and that it would go with it, but he had to purchase it, I believe. But. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, too, about the history. I've been compiling some pictures. I've been uh, getting my scanning on my computer. Mm -hmm. I have received some. I'm still trying to. Uh, Charles Pickett it gave me a few. I've had a few. Uh, and some of the other guys that work with the Devonair Center putting together some stuff. But uh, when I finish, I'll email all those uh, to you. you can have them. I, like I said, I'll start scanning them in my computer. 
Okay. Because some of them are a little fragile. Yeah. And about the old. And, uh, Maybe you can put them on a flash drive. Glad to give you one. Oh. <laughs> I might have some, but I think I still got uh, a couple of the houses that are empty. Okay. But I still would. And uh, I got some that go. I mean, I was looking at some of them last night with my wife, and I said, wow, these kids are grown and got their own family. <laughs> City find the letters block the city limits, and we start, uh, you know, giving the kids a chance to play in these different areas all over the state Virginia, Florida, Georgia. We, we, we kick uh, all on the table. We, we, <laughs> we, we get a chance to travel once they play. It was hard. See, and those kids got a good, uh, it was good for them to be able to uh, experience yeah, that. Experience yeah. all that. Uh, I'll do that this weekend. I'll try to put it all on the flash drive. I'm waiting for uh, one of my other friends to uh, send me some uh, more. Okay, sounds good. I look forward to seeing you guys maybe next week at the bid opening if you can oh, yeah. attend. And that's on the 25th. Yes, Tuesday. I'll put that on my calendar right now. <laughs> do what? We put that on my calendar right now. Yeah, and I'll write, Ginger can send out an email tomorrow with that date and time and everything. All right. Anybody else got anything for this? I got one thing, you know, to close that out. Uh, we talked about pottery. Standard White had a great pottery program. They were mostly older people. And then some of them would get sick. And if you have to wait for them a little bit. That program was actually taken away from them and put over the West New Bern. Yeah. Well, both of them had a uh, pottery program. Yeah, both of them had one. But uh, the biggest thing was I was going to find the teacher, Miss Wright, passed, Miss Adam passed, yeah, and we had nobody qualified to uh, teach it. To teach it. That would be nice if we could get it uh, again and find out how many people want to participate in it. Well, and this survey, you know, that would be an opportunity for people to add in if that's something they wanted to see. What's her name started over? Uh, Nina? Uh -huh. She started it with uh, yeah. Stanley Hunt. Mm -hmm. When she first moved here. From, yeah. That was something that is Stanley Susan. I would say all of them would send you some, but most of them were, they enjoy it. It might be something I might want to get into. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hold you to it. <laughs> Turn around and make a slow down. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. So, you know, uh, they did, because both of them had a good uh, program. Uh, senior program. Did you have yeah, I just want to make uh, sure um, about the, the little cards. Little cards to, for entry. Mm -hmm. did, did we change that, or are we still saying it's too early to get out? I think it's too early to actually get out and start getting those pulled in. Um, I think we talked about what maybe six months before. And yeah, I really we, we're missing two 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 big outings, you know. Uh, Juneteenth and, and Duffest. Well, hopefully that'll come around again by the time we're getting ready to open the center. So they're saying 15 months, I believe, to for construction. So that would put us. Bar in, weather. Huh? Bar weather. Yeah, you know, with all the other acts of God. But um, I feel like there would be other opportunities either with Dove Fest or Juneteenth next year, or we have a ton of events that we do that we could, you know, tap into. And even some public events that go on that we could be a part of. So I think there's plenty of opportunity to get out and
get that resource to the community and the children, um, whether we just set up one day in Henderson Park, you know, or at the Omega Center or something like that. So is it, uh, is it active now at uh, West New Bern? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's been active for a while. Okay. If nobody has anything else, do I have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right, guys. I appreciate it.